Hello designers and Instagrammers. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a cool swipeable Instagram panorama. If you've ever been on Instagram, you will notice that Instagram allows you to upload multiple images in one post. Some people use this to show different images, but today I'm going to show you how to make a panorama. So you'll be splitting one image into two. Now this isn't new, some people have been making panoramas on Instagram for a very long time and uh, some of them will split a photo into three or four and each time you swipe left it will reveal more of the image. So today I'm just going to do one image split into two so when you swipe left it will reveal the other half of the image. Now there are various apps from the iOS and Android app store that will help you achieve this but I want more control over my image and the outcome so today I'm going to show you how to make it's on Affinity Designer. So let's jump in and see how we go. Okay, so here's a design I made earlier. It's of a Mexican sugar skull. I like these kind of designs, look like tattoos. Um, okay, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is check your snapping toggle is on. Uh, if you wanna see my settings, there they are. And okay, let's start with the rectangle tool. I've got a white fill and what we're going to do is draw a perfect square so I'm going to click and drag but I'm also going to hold the shift key so it's a perfect square. There we go, I think that will do and we're going to want to make sure this is just off the center so here we go, it's just covering perfectly half of the face. Okay, and we're going to want to duplicate that now so you can see here in the layers panel uh, we have the rectangle so we're going to press command J I'm working on a Mac here so it's command J and you're going to want to push it over to the right the new one so hold down shift click click and hold and drag to the right and that allows it to go straight over with no problem and let's make it touch the edge there we go you can see it's all lined up and let go let us have a look at what's behind this. So I'll go to the opacity and I'll bring it down. That looks really nice, I think. Okay, so let's go down to the sugar skull and we will uh, duplicate that. So Command J, that duplicates it. Okay, so now we want to nest um, our background in these two squares. Now the squares um, are our Instagram posts. So one of them will be the first image and then the second one will be the second image so we'll swipe from left to right. Okay, so let's drag it into these boxes. Okay, so we'll drag this one in. So that's gone into our box there. Let's name this one because we'll be posting this one first and then let's go to the second one, drag it up and right that nests it in there you see up and right that will nest it inside the square and let's name this two because that's the second one we're going to post okay so we've got one and two there okay we're going to want to export this now um, so let's choose the first one um, and go up to file export and let's choose JPEG and as we've selected the first one we don't want the whole document, we want selection with background click don't export hidden layers if you've got any and we'll press export we'll name this skull1 because this will be the first one we'll uh, post on Instagram so save and we'll do exactly the same thing with the second one file, export, JPEG Selection with background and export. Name it Skull2 and save. So all we've got to do now is um, put it on uh, the phone and then post to Instagram and you'll see the results. So that's it, we managed to post it on Instagram for real 
and managed to do the swipe uh, left and right. So it's a panorama. I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching this. Um, thanks again to uh, all my subscribers. Um, I do occasionally make videos like this uh, as not everyone is at the same level and not everyone understands Instagram and all the little tricks that go with it. So um, thank you. Subscribe to my channel if you like this and uh, check out my other videos. Okay, see you on the next one.